Hey guys, it's Kate, and welcome back to Imagine If Dolls. Today, I got a really exciting package, and I figured we could open it up together. So, let's get right into what I got. So you can see why I'm really excited about this. Clearly, there are a couple of doll boxes here. And yes, I did cave in, and buy the girl of the year, and her little sister. Now, these two are literally my little sister and I, so how could I not get them? Um... Let's start by opening Corinne, because I know more people are excited for her. <laughs> I love Gwyn though, but I kind of want to take a look at this girl. Okay. So here she is, all out of her packaging. She's so cute. I literally can't wait to go do photos with her. Now I did notice her one eye kind of looks a little wonky. I'm not too happy with that, but it's all right. So one of the first things I am noticing is her sweater's really thin, and I saw a lot of people complain about that. It's kind of sucky because you can see right through it, but it's still really cute and I'm definitely excited to go take some wintry themed photos with her, but I think we should get her hair net on. It's editing Kate here. So I decided to do this part as a voiceover because it literally makes no sense what I'm saying. So I just, I think her hair is so cute and I'm definitely really excited to do a bunch of fun hairstyles with her. I of course love the blue color in her hair and the way it's hidden by the black when her hair is down. I just think it's so cute and I'm really excited to play with it. I am kind of sad that her eye is a little wonky, but it's not super noticeable, so I think I should be able to kind of hide it when I'm taking photos or videos of her, and maybe I can even fix it. So the next girl we got is Miss Gwyn Tan, who is Corinne's little sister. I love, I love her already. I'm in love. So here is Miss Gwyn, all out of the box. I think this is like a really cute uh, doll. I believe she's meant to be seven, and she definitely looks like exactly what I would wear when I was seven. One thing I find kind of weird is she's got like this chin, and it's like a little bump underneath. I don't know, when you're front forward it looks fine, but when she's at this angle it looks weird. Oh my gosh, her hair is so soft. So. Her hair does come in the meat braid. Oh my gosh, those are wonky braids. Um, her hair comes in meat braids, so I don't actually know how long it is, but uh, those are so wonky. Um, what do I even talk about? She's adorable. She does have some stray hairs, but most dolls do when you just get them and then you just pull them out. It's all good. Um, her outfit is really cute. I really like it. I love the little puff sleeves. I also love that she's got like some things because like most people have said, the Welly Wishers are more like, they're meant for younger kids so they've got all these fantasy looks and everything. So they're like mermaids and unicorns and all that and they don't really just have like stuff that like you would wear casually, you know? So I love that they've got Gwyn with this outfit and then she's got her PJs and her skating outfit. And I just think they're all really cute. So that is Gwyn and Corinne all opened up. I really love their outfits and I'm so excited to go take some photos with them. But for right now, I think y'all want to know their names. So the Corinne doll is going to be renamed to Dusk Sparrow Tan. And the Gwyn doll is actually going to be renamed to Quinn. And then I need to check how to spell it, but it is Hope in Chinese. 
and I really think those really cute names and I am so excited to have them in my collection and welcome them to the whole family. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great day. Bye!